Okay, so a lot of you asked for a, a GTM 2.5 PID turning video, so I'm going to go ahead and do one of those. I reset my profile here to uh, default PIDs, so I'm going to start with that, and then we can listen to what the props sound like and hear what kind of noises this thing makes, and we'll, we'll adjust the PIDs accordingly, and I'll talk you through that. So let's go ahead and get started. Right away, you can hear the fluttering. So we know that these gains are too high, the default default gains. And this is mostly sounds like too much P gain. So I'm gonna go ahead and land and we'll go ahead and change the PIDs. So if you wanna make a change, you should just go ahead and, and do it by increments of 10. You could always adjust it back up. So I'm going to take the P gain and roll down to 30 from 40. And the P gain on pitch, I'm going to take that about 58. I'm going to take that all the way down to, uh, let's try 45. And I'm also going to lower the P gain on yaw as well. I'm going to, I'm going to lower that to uh, 55. I'm going to lower that to 15. So if you make small changes, you're probably not going to notice a whole lot of difference. So if you make a bigger change and see what that feels like and then you can adjust it back, back up if you don't like it. So let's go ahead and see what these are like. So we go ready you can see you can hear that there, it's a little bit better the flutter is not as bad. And I think there might be too much D gain so I might have to check the motor temps. I'm going to go ahead and land it, and probably I'm going to lower the D gain first here. Let's, let's actually, I mean, actually, let's, uh, uh, actually, I'm going to check the temperatures first here. Okay, as I suspected, uh, I think D gain is a little bit too high. We'll go ahead and drop that down as well. I'm going to drop that all the way down to 20 on D, on, on roll, and on Pitch, I'll drop that down to 25. The motors were a little warm, but not, not terribly hot. Let's just see what that sounds like. Yep, and that, almost, a lot, almost all that flutter is gone now. So that might be mostly D-gain flutter. So, didn't make a whole lot of changes, but you can see that it seems to be flying okay. I think I could probably up the P game back up again a little bit. Yeah, I'm still having a little bit of flutter there. I think that's D game flutter. Let's try another punch out here. Yeah, probably need to up the I gain a little bit as well. There's a little bit of drift in that punch out. Let's go ahead and land it, and I'm gonna. Let's, let's take a look at what, what the P gain is. I'm going to probably drop the P gain a little bit more. Okay, so I think I'm going to drop the D gain a little bit more. Let's try that. Try, try dropping down to 15 and 20. Yeah, I'm going to increase the P gain because I felt it was a little bit loose. So I'm going to go up to 35 on roll and 50. On pitch. Yeah, let's see what that feels like. So it seems to be a little bit better. So a little bit of flutter there. I think I might need to adjust the yaw gains as well. Yeah, I'm gonna adjust that just well. I didn't do that last time. Let's let's do that and see what this is like after I adjust that. So I'm gonna drop the yaw P gain down a little bit more, down to 45, and I think the I gain could go up a little on roll. Saw a little bit of drift there. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna increase the P gain on roll just a, I'm going to bump it up to 40. And yeah, let's see what that's like. Yeah, 
It's starting to feel a lot better, sound better. Yeah, the rolls are more snappy and they stop. So I like the P gain there. Maybe need to lower the D gain just a little bit even more on possibly on yaw. I think, my, I think the yaw, yaw axis seems to be affecting the sound of the props. I mean, it's, it's greatly reduced. It's not as bad. So let me land it one more time and we'll try and drop that again. Let's take yaw P down to 40. Yeah, let's reduce yaw D as well to 15. Let's see how, how that does. The sound's almost gone. That flutter is almost all gone now. And my battery's about dead, so I need to swap my battery out shortly. I think I'm pretty much done here. Yeah, this looks pretty good. That flutter is just about all gone, so I think I'm going to stick with this tune. I think this is going to be good enough for today. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And that's going to do it for today's uh, pid tuning video.